I am the type of person that attributes anything going on physical with me to a mental process like so also I would like to say I am not make, doing a makeup tutorial so whatever and however I do things in this video this is the way I just do it myself the point ain't even the makeup in this video but back to what I was saying so I am the type of person that attributes um when something is physically going on with me to something mentally going on with me um when I was actually having this revelation in a conversation with my family when I realized what was happening last night my daughter was like mom you always overcomplicate something I mean it could be seen like that but yeah so um I went to visit my family this weekend so I moved away from the city that I grew up in about almost six years ago I stayed in the same state but I just moved like a couple of hours away so um I'm originally from South Florida born and raised I did a um, stunt in New Orleans for a year I was sent away by my mom but most of my time has been in South Florida um and then recently about six years ago um I decided my husband and I decided that um we would move to Central Florida so my husband was raised in Central Florida but he was born in South Florida and from the time I started having children I was like I don't want to raise children in South Florida just it was just a personal preference for me but the opportunity presented itself and we moved and when we moved I felt like it was the best thing for me and my family that we did this um it allowed me to lean into and embrace who i am to my core without feeling like i had to not be that for the fear of you know being turned back my back or whatever so anyway moving away was a good thing for me right so but this weekend i decided to well i decided um it was my grandma's 80th birthday so we took and my son also had a game in south florida as you guys know my son plays college football and one of his games happened to be in the city where we were originally from so that was i felt like things aligned for us to be at the, my grandma's 80th party 80th birthday party because we were already going to my son's game so we ended up going down there and you know i spent time with my mom and my brother um my niece and my nephew me and my brother went, my brother and i and my husband and our, all of our kids we went to the movie together i spent time with my mom it was like for the most part i would say it was a good trip it was um what was needed in some aspects um and it was not what was needed in some aspects which brings me, bring me back to the point i'm coming back to with physically with things something physically going on with me me equating it to mentally so when we came back home my throat was hurting me and i was like i hope i'm not getting sick again because um i was sick like maybe like the last month sometime it was really bad it really had me down and out and i was like uh i don't need that right now especially this time of year um i really hope i'm not getting sick so i was like i'm about to take something to kind of act this so it don't take me down like it took me down before but i was like my throat hurts but i don't feel sick per se i just my throat was just hurting so i was like mm. so um yesterday when my daughter came home and I started to have a moment. I, I brought it up to my husband and my daughter. And she was like, yeah, mommy, your neck is swollen. I was like, boom, that's what it is. My thyroid swelled up. I don't know if it could be seen in this. Um, but I didn't make a doctor's appointment because I actually have an appointment in a couple, like a day or two. Um, yeah, I have, I have an appointment in a day or two. So I was like, I'll just bring it up to my doctor when I go in. It's not anything where I feel like I gotta go to the emergency room or anything like that, so I'll just bring it up to my doctor. But then it all dawned on me. I haven't had to deal with an issue like this for forever. Almost as long as I've moved away from family. I go to visit family. And my throat was hurting come to find out you know why my throat was hurting because i did not exercise my throat chakra yes i'm one of those girls i'm all about the chakras and the spiritual stuff the astrology and i feel like i'm dealing with this physically because i held my tongue a lot over the weekend with my extended family sometimes with my mom too but with my mom it's easier to navigate i don't feel like i have to not exercise my throat chakra and speak my mind and speak how i feel as much with my mom but i know with like my other family because i don't see them as often i just feel like the battle is not needed like i'm picking and choosing my battles i don't need to speak about certain things because it'll be a minute before i see you again if i ever see you again because we know how life is so i'm like it's not worth it it's not worth it to have this back and forth feel like i'm explaining myself or explaining my choices or whatever anything so i just let it be a lot this weekend and because i let it be a lot this weekend that's why i'm dealing with my throat hurting so i did every morning and that's nothing um while i was away from the weekend i went away from my my routine of med prayer and meditation i do a chakra balancing so i'm like okay i'm just going to um get back to my routine get myself right and this video is a way of clearing my throat chakra <laughs> for those that were interested this is the end result of what i was doing so i am the type of person that attributes anything going on physical with me to a mental process like so also i would like to say i am not doing a makeup tutorial so whatever and however I do things in this video, this is the way I just do it.